Hey, what's up, YouTube? Steven here from Food Chain Feeders. Uh, I'm going to be sorting out uh, a uh, breeder tub of doobie roaches. So, there's a couple of uh, babies in here that I need to uh, sort out and uh, separate some of the adults because I feel like this is a bit too crowded uh, and put them in a, in a whole different tub. So, uh, I already got my buckets. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start putting some dubias so they can start uh, sorting out into different size holes. So this is how I do it. I put the egg crate inside the bucket and then I just give it a tap and everything should fall out. Just give it a couple taps because some of the little ones, they kind of tend to stay a little, they get a bit more stuck so. I'm going to do this for every single one here, and then um, I'll give you guys an update on when everything is sorted out. Alright, so, so far I have done three um, egg crates, and this is what we got so far. So, still have all that to go. All right, everybody, so all done with the egg crates. Uh, this is what's left over. Uh, there's still a lot of little ones, but uh, pretty much what I'm going to do is get all the little ones that got uh, sorted out, uh, put all these guys back in here uh, because they, they want to be in the, in the frass. And then... Um, And that way they'll grow up in in this tub right here. So this is uh, a little the ones that didn't make it, but they're still a small size. Uh, these ones down here are all what we want to get right here, and uh, eventually grow those up to be small, medium, larges, um, and of course females. So talking about females, these are. Some females that were in there uh, this is another reason why I wanted a um, usually when I when I sort out a uh, breeding tub I usually wait a little longer but I was um, short on tubs so I was putting a lot of females in this tub and it was time for me to get a whole new uh, breeding tub um, so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna split these guys evenly uh i have no idea how many females are inside of here right now but there is a lot there's a couple males in here as well but um yeah so that's another another reason why i wanted to do this the main reason actually is to uh not not have them so crowded i already put the ventilation and uh yeah so now i what i need to do is count one of these out count these the females out uh, one by one, I'm going to do it by hand, so that's going to take me a while. After that, put the amount of males I want in there. Uh, so I'm going to put a couple of males in with the females, start breeding. So I'm going to have, um, I'm going to create two breeding tubs out of all these females right here. Two separate breeding tubs. Just for, uh, if you guys were wondering what we feed uh, our doobie roaches is this roach dust roach chow, doobie roach food. You can also feed this to crickets. Uh, we do have this for sale. We have seen incredible production uh, when, since we've been feeding this uh, formula here. So let me know if you guys need some. I guarantee you guys will see the difference. And um, yeah, pretty much get something like this. This is a pound of food and this will, uh, well your doobies will eat this up so. You'll definitely see them go on top of it and just they'll, they'll eat it all up. So let me know if you guys need some. Um, you can uh, contact me through Instagram or email me at foodchainfeeders at gmo.com.
part. So I counted 342 in here and 342 in here. Now it's time to add the males. And um, once the males are in, add the food, some uh, water source, and then put the lids on them and just uh, let them be. Keep them in the dark and uh, let, them, let them do what they do. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you guys need doobie roaches, smalls, mediums, um, uh, larges. Let me know. You guys can hit me on Instagram or email me at food chain feeders. I can ship them out to you. All right, you guys. Take care. Peace.